andare alla destra. Grazie mille cari amici, sono commosso da questa accoglienza. Thank you. Thank you, dear friends. Thanks to all. Madam President Mariam Rajavi, distinguished guests and dear friends, we have heard from you a very passionate appeal tonight to the Iranian people and to all nations of the world. And the message has been and will be multiply your efforts to bring back freedom, truth, social justice, human dignity to Iran. And this is exactly the message that this very distinguished representation of the Italian Parliament, the member of the Italian Parliament who came here tonight to express to all of you, to all the Iranians in the country and abroad, and especially to the Iranians who have been suffering and will still be suffering, they are suffering for the lack of freedom and respect of human rights, to express the warmest friendship and solidarity to the country and to the resistance. This delegation is composed by people, by members of parliament who have addressed just a few days ago an important appeal to the government. An appeal which says the government, the Italian government, must strongly condemn the 1988 massacre and inch any relation with Iran on stopping all executions. The Italian government must call on the United Nations to place on their agenda launching probes into this massive crime of 1988 and to send perpetrators to justice. These are the Member of Parliament who are here with you tonight who are moving the works of the Italian assemblies in this direction and to encourage the government to do so. The, the time to bring back freedom and social justice and human dignity is right now. It is right now because a new geopolitical reality is unfolding rapidly within and around the country. Democratic governments and civil societies must firmly challenge the obscurantism of a theocracy whose only aim is wealth and power for its members, and only for its members, through repression and domination. And this splendid gathering tonight is a clear sign that change will come soon. Iran people are furiously crying for justice and freedom. They will neither forget nor forgive the 1988 massacre of political prisoners. The Iranian resistance is escalating there for its activities inside Iran. Mullahs feel the danger. The presidential election has deepened the regime internal crisis. And the Assembly of Experts has issued statements which are self-explanatory, and I quote, in Islam there is no talk of people's vote or demand and opinion other than the Velayat. This makes a mockery, a clear mockery, of any election in that country under this present regime. There are no pretexts to recognize the Mullah's farce. Recent landmark researches on democracy in Iran have led to one overarching conclusion, that a peaceful evolution to a more human system in the Islamic Republic of Iran isn't in the cards. Iran is moving toward greater internal oppression and foreign wars, and they will produce even more convulsive internal descent, dissent. The European leaders and businesses are therefore very ill advised when they rush at their own risk to the Iranian market as if Rouhani were making of it a new Eldorado. And uh, too often the contacts and the business contacts are taking place with the Iran revolutionary GAR core companies. World leaders should look to the Iranian people should look first and foremost to the Iranian people, to your compatriots and to friends abroad, to the expatriate community, 
and they should stand, the world leaders and especially the European leaders, they should stand with them. They should support the Iranian resistance, the freedom and human dignity the Iranians are striving for. The message to the Mullah must be more than before. It is time for them to go. Thank you.